What's up? It's Aaron coming at you, single dad life, my single dad life. Um, I know it's been a little bit since I I went ahead and um, posted anything and all that stuff, but um, don't forget, click the bottom right there to subscribe and like the video and everything and go from there. One second, how can I help you? Now, any other time you're able to go ahead and get this in there. Wait one second, guys. I so guys, so guys, subscribe to this video, put a thumbs up, and come to Board Dogs. You can get tattoos. They can't do that anymore because I'm not doing that, okay? Uh -huh. Because now I'm going strictly online with Bulldog Sportswear and Apparel and a website, and that's what I actually wanted to talk about today. So before you go ahead and start blasting off and everything, you know, let me go ahead and take, get my show on. You came to get this juice in, you get to, you got your little time before and all that. You're not going to take every one of them, okay? okay? Because I have some things that I need to say. Okay. All right? Okay. There you go. There's your juicy. Thank you, Daddy. Yep, you're welcome. Go ahead and watch your uh, show until I get your wheels done. So, I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and silence this for a second. You know what I mean? Put this on silent mode. My bad for being all up in the camera, but <laughs> anyway. So, I got to change Josiah's wheels on his skates. And skateboard so he can go ahead outside to play or whatever and I'm gonna put the light up wheels on there for him so he's pretty excited about having them which is pretty cool but I mean it's nothing to go ahead and change these wheels out real quick so, um, but like I was saying, when Josiah came down here, um, yeah, I've been thinking about uh, definitely the overhead for Bulldog Sports Wearing Apparel, like I said in the other videos and everything. So I definitely decided to go ahead and go strictly online with it. So you can still order, place your order at bulldogsapparel.com. And I've already launched a website. I just haven't put everything on there yet. So you can go ahead and start purchasing off of there, which makes it a lot easier because now that it's summertime and everything, I don't have to have Josiah in the store all day. Uh, and I can go ahead and focus more on doing things with him as well because I have to give him a little special attention um, the past two months, I actually been stressing about getting him into Sylvan Learning Center and everything because he was actually behind his classmates and everything. It's messed up because the, at a conference with his teacher and the principal, and they pretty much said that Josiah should be repeating first grade. And I'm not blaming anyone before he got to me and everything like that, but come on. Like nobody, like nothing was done with them or anything like that. And I tried my hardest this year to try and get him up the track and everything with his regular classmates. And I didn't realize how far behind he was until we had the, the Zoom classes and everything like that. So um, I've been stressing it ever since. So I took him to Sylvan. Oh, it's only eight wheels, so he's only getting the skates done. I thought I had 12. So these are the wheels that I'm putting up on there for him. They're going to light up and all that stuff and change his laces and all that to the light up laces for that little boy. But um, anyway, his teacher was saying that, you know, he should repeat the first grade, but they don't want to. You know, they want to move him with his class and everything because Josiah goes to a private school. So, uh, then I went to Sylvan Learning Center and got the assessment because I took him there after I noticed 
uh, what was going on when they had the Zoom classes and everything. So I, uh, I went there and got their assessment and believe it or not, they said pretty much the exact same thing his teacher was saying. So dad has been stressing these past couple months on how to go ahead and kick out an extra thousand dollars a month So he can go ahead and get the proper help that he needs. So when school time comes around, he'll be right where he needs to be, if not further along. And I'm hoping that he is further along. But I'll go ahead, of course, I have to put my cape on and be super dad. And I'm gonna make sure that this happens and that little man is straight. So by any means necessary, I will figure out how to go ahead and take care of getting, I don't want to strip that, getting that extra thousand dollars a month added onto my budget or whatever, expenses or whatever, because that's something that he needs. And he actually starts on Monday. I went ahead and had that taken care of this week. So he starts on Monday because I wanted him to go during the summer so he goes monday wednesday and friday for two hours a day which would definitely keep his skills and everything fresh throughout the summer and everything going into the school year next year which i know he'll be excited about and i will be also so now that it'll have these light up wheels. Hopefully I won't trip over them, <laughs> but I will. All right, that's one tape done. Let me make sure all of them are tight. Quality control here. Don't want them out there busting his butt. So, uh, like I was saying, I had to figure out how to get him in Sylvan. So that was a little bit, that was well, I don't want to say a little bit, that was very stressful. And then uh, not to mention everything going on with the business over there in West York. So I just decided to, instead of having a breakdown or whatever, just pull it together and figure out what would be the best move. So, I made the best move that was best for myself and my son. You know, of course, I'm going to have the people saying, oh, my gosh, you couldn't make it over there in West York, blah, 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 blah. If you haven't noticed by now, I could care less what people have to say about me or anything that I do. And for those of you who believe what people say, I could care less about that also. And if they say it, it must be true. So whatever, never let that bother me. I'm not gonna start. Like I said, I'm gonna focus on my son, this business, and of course my single dad life. Pretty soon the merchandise will be coming for that. And of course, like I said, you can still go to the website, Bulldogs, www.bulldogsapparel.com and start ordering merchandise. Like I said, uh, every day I'm gonna keep adding merchandise onto it every day. Anyway, as I uh, finish breaking down the store and keep the things that I wanna go ahead and sell online and get new inventory also that I'm gonna sell online and everything. And then uh, I can send orders out and Still work from home, basically. And also have the time I need with my son as well. And also finishing up these, this series so production can start in September. I'm excited. So this week I had a to-do list for the week which consisted of about 25 things. 
that was for the week. As you can see, it's almost done. Which is a good thing. I'm, I'm excited about that as well. Um, like I was saying, I'm going to keep on keeping up with this single, my single dad life. And let you guys know what's going on. Monday, we're going down there to see my cousin Derek down there in Eastern Shore. I'm going to go down there for uh, two days in between. Um, well, when Josiah gets out of Sylvan on Monday. And um, we'll be back before he has to go back on Wednesday. Take a quick day and a half, two days or whatever. So I can go ahead and have some dad sometime. And link up with my cousin down there. Definitely big shout out to Derek Brown, who's always supported and always been there for me. I appreciate you, Cuzzo, no doubt. Um, but like I was saying, it's a pretty much an easy transition, easy choice to go ahead and switch the store over to go online and everything. And I want people to think that, hey, Aaron couldn't do it, Aaron couldn't make it or whatever, whatever doing my thing <laughs> it's a lot easier um and like i said it frees me up and then it definitely doesn't tie me to york i can up and leave anytime i've also been thinking about moving from york well dover the york county area because oh shit just kind of tired of it and then uh it's just not for just not for me just not for me not the commonwealth no nah. but anyway like i was saying um i got a few things to say later on and all that stuff oh might have put that one on too tight i think i did Want his wheels to spin. There we go. So Josiah got his wheels on his skates. I'm gonna have to order some more for his uh, skateboard. But in the meantime, definitely get that out of my way. I don't know if I should keep these wheels or not. I guess I should, just in case. But anyway, I definitely, um, later on, I'm going to link up with my daughter. She wants to do another video. She's starting to open up a little bit more about her life and, you know, being raised by a single father and doing things, going through the things that she went through, but I'll let her tell her story. So definitely tune in later. I'll be uploading that. Oops. Um, like I said, I'm about to go ahead and drop the My Single Dad Life merchandise, shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, everything like that. And keep advertising and um, promoting, marketing uh, My Single Dad Life for the pitch and keep shopping it around also and see what happens from there. Like, um, it's amazing y'all about to start seeing uh, different aspects of our life and everything, since it is the summertime and how I deal with different situations, especially, you know, with the ooh going on up there, the battle I deal with every day. And um, just pretty much let y'all know how everything is gonna, gonna happen and flow. Give you a behind the scenes look into the life of an entrepreneur, making it through a pandemic with real problems, not the celebrity problems on TV and everything, real problems that, you know, people like you can relate to, single parents can relate to, not just single fathers, you know, I mean, even though we don't get as much credibility as the single mothers or anything like that, but hey, we do our thing too. And I'm not taking nothing away from anyone. 
and um, I definitely want to thank the support groups like on Facebook, like Dads Helping Dads and everything, check them out. You know, um, single fathers, check them out. They're doing their thing. Dad support groups, you know, uh, fathers fighting for custody rights, everything like that, because um, I have some of that going on as well that uh, we'll find out in other videos coming soon. Because like I said, I'm gonna keep documenting this. So, Throughout the summer, we can go ahead and put our locations together. I got locations, three locations in mind, Maryland, of course, Pennsylvania, and New York, and uh, Florida when we go down there for vacation and everything. So um, stay tuned, and thank you for tuning in. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button down there. You know, send that link to your peoples and all that stuff. Check out a few of the other videos get the background of it. I'm not going to go in right now on everything. I just wanted to speak about, um, you know, changing the business up, what I've been working on and why I kind of been uh, chilling the past couple of days and working kind of hard and getting up at 1.30 in the morning for some reason and going all day long. Wow. And then chilling and changing it back up. And I actually had to take some melatonin last night and get up later than I normally would. And here I am. So we're going to go ahead and finish up today, get things done today. And it's going to rain out here, so we'll figure out something to do, Josiah and I. And we'll get back with you guys later on. Thank you for checking out the video and the other videos. Go ahead, feel free to leave your comments and everything like that. Don't matter what you got to say or whatever. I'll reply, get back to you and everything. Check you later.